Well, hey, neighbor, it's me, Angie. Come on over. Got some things to talk to you about that's going on this week on my channel, on others' channels. Yeah, that's the bell that I have hanging in my my uh, yard. I really, really like my bell. Oh, and there's the swing set that we got Berkeley some swings to go on there. And we got Lincoln a swing we're going to hang on there. We got a, some swings to go on there from my cousin Bo when we went over to his house to get some things uh, from my Aunt Polly's house where she's passed away. But anyway, I wanted to let you all know that I have my live chat tomorrow, uh, 10.30 Central Time, our neighborhood watch hour or two, depending on how long uh, we decide to stay together. Uh, then my neighborhood chat video will come out. I'll be on uh, Tracy Cake's channel and Colleen will be there. She and I are gonna go head to head on the Magic Game. Thursday night, so come on over to Tracy Cakes. I'll put that channel in the description, and I'll put Colleen's, and you'll love these ladies, but a lot of my subscribers already know these ladies. They're awesome. If you're not a part of that channel, go over there and become a part of those heifers. That's what they call themselves. They're doing this big giveaway this Sunday. You don't want to miss that. You have to be present to win, though. And you have to have been going there to get your name put in the jar. They call it a mooging. But if you go there Sunday before they do the drawing and you stay in there, you may get your name put in the drawing just by being there Sunday. So just let me say a few things about these two ladies. Let me describe them to you through my eyes. Well, you know, Colleen, I, I like Colleen from the get-go. I can connect with her somehow. She has a great sense of humor. She can. She's a very caring person. Um, I didn't know for a while that Colleen suffered from a lot of health problems, which I can relate to. She has a good auction. She auctions off really good things. Her husband's name is Hippie, which I love that. You can tell she's a strong uh, person. You know how you can just tell that people are? She's very strong. You can tell she's been through some things, but she's made it. Haven't we all? But I just love Colleen. You'll, you'll really, really like her if you go over. Then there's Tracy. They're sort of like the yin and the yang of each other. Tracy and Colleen. Tracy's more high-pitched uh, speech. Uh, she really is... I figure if I met her, she would kind of like light up a room because... When she walked in a room, you could see her just by her raising her hand and smiling like, I'm here, look at me. But not in a stuck up arrogant way, but just in a very loving, friendly, I wanna meet everybody, how are y'all doing kind of way. She's very giving. Now this is just my observation from just going to their channel. She wants everybody to feel welcome. You know, they're kind of the yin to the yang, but they both are wonderful, wonderful ladies. And then, of course, you have Sassy, which her name suits her. I mean, what can I say about Sassy? Sassy's a beautiful person. She has a really good sense of humor. Uh, you can tell she really cares for people. Especially the males in the chat now. That's the funny thing. She calls them her guys or her 
uh, boys or something like that. I can't remember, but she really lets you know that, hey, hands off. She helps mod in their, in their channel. She adds her two cents in every once in a while, which is very good. And she plays the magic game. And oh, when she laughs from the gut, it's so funny. When she gets tickled on the magic game, it's really funny. Then you have Tamara, which is the mod that puts things in the chat, which Tamara has a very, very stressful job, I would say, but she handles it so well. Uh, I don't know Tamara's voice. I don't know what she looks like, but, you know, Tamara's been having some health problems lately, and everyone's been praying for her, and I would ask that you continue to pray for her because she's been dealing with some things health-wise. She is a sweet person in the chat. I would really like to hear her voice or see her face or meet her. But I like all these ladies. So come on over and join Tracy Cake's Coffee Shop. I'll be on there. And I think it's like 7.30 or 7 Eastern or I don't really know. Or maybe it's 6 Eastern and 5 Central. But just pull her channel up and you'll see the thumbnail. Also, I was on Ella's last night. We were doing our Keeping It Real uh, week. You know, we do that every other Sunday, Keeping It Real. And we said from the start, you know, we're going to have this conversation on Ella's channel. And we're just going to lay it out there like you're on a nude beach, you know. You're just going to come butt naked. And we're just going to lay it all out there and tell it the way it is. We're not going to hold anything back. And if you don't think you can handle it, don't show up. Because you may get your feelings hurt. You may get offended. Not that we're trying to do that. But we want to freely be able to speak and have the chat to freely speak on what we want to talk about. It's been good so far. I think we've had three uh, Keeping It Real chats. Yesterday, we stayed on two hours and 20 minutes. It was really a good chat. Ella, oh my goodness. There's another one. You've got to go over and get to know Ella. And most of you that watch my channel probably already know Ella. Ella is someone that I don't see how anyone could not like or be friends with. Um, she is as real as the sun coming up every day and the moon showing up every night. She's going to tell you exactly what she thinks and who she is. Boy, do I like that, and I can really respect it. She's a beautiful person inside and out. Her voice has a beautiful voice. And boy, can she sell things. And does she work all the time? How she finds time to to have a personal life, which she does now. Which I'm so happy about that. I don't know. You know, there's only 24 hours in a day. And I guess you only have to sleep five of them or less. And then that gives you 19 more. that you can do what you want to do. But check out these two channels that I've mentioned. You will not be disappointed. The next channel I want to talk about is Miss Southern Belle. You know, Miss Southern Belle drove almost seven hours to my house in Mississippi to see me. To, me, to see me. Little old It's Me Angie. She'll never know what that meant to me. I mean, I have relatives that will not even drive 20 minutes to come visit me. And this lady meets me on YouTube and comes to my house and visits. That's amazing to me. I hope one day to go and visit her. We had, the, we had a wonderful time. It was like we had known each other our entire life. She has a really good channel. She goes shopping. She on live, with live chats. She goes shopping. She has videos about... She loves to color. Uh, she shouts channels out. She supports channels. And she has a wonderful sense of humor. 
Go over there and check Miss Southern Bell's channel out. You won't regret it. Tell her I sent you. Then there's Dawn's channel. Sweet Dawn. I think Dawn and I would probably really get in trouble if she lived near me. Because I could see us hanging out and trying to get into some mischief. It'd be fun. Dawn can tell a really good story. And you would think it was real. And you would believe it. If you didn't really know Dawn, you would believe it. She can look you straight in the face and tell a story and never even blink an eye. Everyone doesn't have that gift. I love Dawn's auctions. She is a hard worker. She makes it fun. You know, Josie's on there with her. and Josie is a whole different channel, a person. But it just seems to work. Dawn and Josie together. Uh, Josie just seems to fit in, you know, at her age, she seems to really fit in with our age because she doesn't act like her age. And I think she already knows that, but Josie's place, that's another channel you'll want to go over there and visit. Uh, she lets people be people now, but if you cross her, she's going to let you know it. I can respect that. Uh, She's a crafter. She sews. She sells jewelry. She loves hummingbirds. You know, when you visit channels enough, you kind of get to know the person. I think Josie and I have a lot in common. We, we have sort of like the same background on certain things. She and I same, share the same religious belief. We kind of had the same upbringing with the same type of parent. Josie loves cowboys. I think I used to really, in some way, like cowboys too because I remember going, I met James in a nightclub that was country music and he used to wear cowboy boots and, you know, wear Stetson cologne, if you can believe that. But, you know, we had that in common. I don't know, there's just some of these channels that really stand out and you get to know these people and you feel like you've known them your entire life. I'm probably gonna continue to do videos about channels that really stand out to me and really, like Nana Taint, for instance. Nana Taint's channel just, she's such a giving person, she has sent me uh, when I would get things from her at her auction, she has sent me things to give away on my channel. You know, Netta's just a giver. And she cares for people, and she will help you in any way that she can. She will probably even put you first before she puts herself, which health-wise, that can not be good, but that's just the type of person she is. You can tell that she would never want to hurt anybody intentionally. You know, that's the type of person I want to be around. Someone that doesn't have a hidden agenda. And believe me, Nana Tink does not have a hidden agenda. And that's what we're here on this planet. This thing we call Earth and this human experience is to be givers and servers and treat others like we want to be treated and do kind acts for everyone. And it's not just about who can have the most toys and and get the most the biggest house or make the most money. I mean, after all, do you really think you're going to take that stuff with you when you leave and do you really think your children are going to want it after you're gone? That is if you have children. I don't expect that my children will want what James and I have the content in our home. Now, we've told them to sell the home and sell the automobiles if they don't want them and James's tractor and four-wheeler and, you know, just disperse it amongst them and our grandchildren as they want to. Don't feel obligated to keep any of it because it was our stuff. 
I mean, could you see them taking our entire content of our house to their house, which they already have a house? That's ridiculous. But neighbor, that's the channels that I want to mention today to let you know, not only do I go to these channels to frequent because they have an auction or because they have a good channel for me to watch, but I really get to know these people. Now, they may be nothing like I think they are. They could be making all this up. But in my mind, that's who they are. And that's the way I want to keep it. That's the way I see them until they prove me wrong. That's the way I'm going to view them. So when you go over to a channel neighbor and you're trying to get to know uh, someone in a live chat or just by watching their videos, set your own opinion of that person. Don't listen to what somebody else says. And until you find out differently, oh, and there's one more channel that comes to my mind. Francine's finds it's auction time. Now, she's Matt Dumpster Diving, Matt's mom that started doing auctions. She's such a beautiful person. I, I hope one day she and Matt come to visit James and myself. We would love to have them, but she has this New York voice that I just love it. She's very caring, outgoing, spunky, independent, and she's had some health problems in her past, and she knows just how short life can be, so she doesn't take every day for granted. She doesn't intentionally set out to hurt anyone. She has a very good auction. She's a real good friend of mine. We've made, we've become really good friends. I consider every channel that I just named off to you, that the person that has that channel, I consider them my friend. Now, are we close friends? We're just friends. Now, I think a few of us that I named are closer than others, but I think it's okay to have a friend over YouTube. But you have to have boundaries. You can't just give your whole life story to that person and expect them not to tell anybody. No, you have to have boundaries. But all friends have boundaries. Even the close friends that you have that live in your town, I've never told a lot of intimate things to. You have to be very careful about that. You really can't get mad once you share something with somebody and they share it with something else because deep down, you know, they are on YouTube. You have to really, really get to know that person. And with that being said, neighbor, go make friends. Come over to my neighborhood chats. Spend some time in my live chat and get to know me and get to know my chat where there's no drama, no bullying, <clears throat> no backstabbing. Nothing but positive, positive talk. I love you, neighbor, and there's nothing you can do about it. And I'm going to keep on loving you. Because love is a choice. Like, share, subscribe. Ring that bell so you'll know the next time I'm coming to you with a video. Bye, neighbor. <laughs>